Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Trade Desmo. Let me ask you, if you're like me, I've seen these advertisements online for these stack font t-shirts that say like a certain word. It can say two words, maybe a catchphrase, something like be kind or blessed, hubby wifey, husband wife, what have you. Grateful, thankful, blessed, whatever. And it comes like a stacked font where it's like a repeating word and in the middle it's a solid word of the same thing. And you ever looked at that and see how complicated it is and you're like, well, wow, I, I wish I could learn how to do that because that looks kind of neat on a shirt or whatever you choose, mugs or whatnot. Well, I found a site that you could create your own generated text like that and I'm going to show you how to incorporate it and make that file a PNG file, bring it into your Cameo software, and actually we're going to make some t-shirts using this. And ours is going to say hubby wifey, but again, you can let your imagination go and you can make any type of text you want. And I'm going to show you how. I learned this and I thought it was neat and I wanted to share it with my YouTube family. So here we go in my software so first of all I'm gonna go to the internet okay and I have it saved as my favorites but I'm gonna give you what the website is so you can go to it yourself I mean I'm just tickled to death because I love the stack font look And it looks like that. It's, it's the website's called Font Mimi. And the website is HTTPS. And of course, I'm going to flash this on the screen. FontMimi.com backslash stacked dash fonts and another back, uh, backslash. So you go to this font page and you see this is what I'm referring to when I say the stacked fonts. And in this easy little program right here, when you get to this page, you can put any words you want to. I'm going to give you an example. I just do it in all caps, but you don't have to. And let's just say I type B-O-E-S-S-E-D, blessed. Make sure you can see that. Okay. I want the font, let's just say we're going to use, you got a whole, look at all the fonts you have to choose from. A whole bunch of different fonts but for stack fonts the stack look I personally like let me see if I can archival black look to it and you see how I generated what I had it looks like that and then if you like if you want to make the font bigger just so you can look at it better I just did a uh, inner font size and I made it go up to 208 and it just brings it up, but after you get it into your cutting software, you're going to be able to change the size anyway. So this part doesn't really matter, but I'm going to bring it down. Anyway, see, and you put, scroll your cursor over there and it gives you like a look. It's going to be a clear PNG file or a transparent background PNG, but that's what like the word blessed if you want to say be kind, because I saw a t-shirt like that before and I thought that was cute. Hit generate. Be kind looks like that. I'm going to change the color to black. I don't like that blue for some reason. Okay. Be kind. You can see the words in there and see how you have your repeating and then you have your solid and the, the bottom part of be kind. You can just come up with anything. I don't know where I can't think of any other... Um, phrases that I've seen on shirts but you get the you get the point so for our demonstration we're gonna do the hubby generate see that's what hubby looks like in the example I just showed you they just had two rows and of course when you get it into software into your cutting software you can erase if you want extra rows or if you don't want that extra rows I like it like that but when you think about it, when we get the weed, and it might just be better with the two and two. 
but we'll change that when we get there. But anyway, that's what hubby would look like. Wifey. Generate. And that's wifey. So it's just an easy software to use. And you can go to different fonts. Let's just do, let's just do curse casual just to see how that looks. That's cute. Or let's just pick, I don't know. That's about the, oh, I like that. Leak Spartan Bold. Let me see another one. If you want to do this one, which I don't recommend because that's a lot of weeding in there. But I mean, like I said, you don't even have to do this for, what's timeline? That's too big. You don't have to do this for just shirts with the storybook. Look, storybook. See, that gives you the wave effect. You get in this software, get on this website and play with it. And I trust me, you're going to find something that you like with this. I really like that. You're going to find something that you like with this uh, font. But again, we're just going to go back to... For this video purpose and go to archival black okay so what you do well it didn't okay there it goes i right click on my mouse and i'm save image as okay i'm gonna save it in my picture files i'm gonna call it w-i-f-e-y oops wifey and it saves it as a png Okay, so now I'm going to do hubby and generate it. I'm going to right click it. Well, let me let it, let me let it trans, go to hubby. Okay, there it goes. I'm right clicking it, same even that image as, and that's going to save, I'm going to call it hubby as a PNG. So now we have those saved. Free of charge. I can click off of there. Now I'm back into my silhouette Cameo 4 stu Silhouette Studio. And I want to make the width 11 because I want this to go across our shirts. And then the height, let's try uh, 9. 11 by 9. That's a nice size illustration. So with that, I'm going to go and go to my downloads. I have hubby. I'm going to pull it down into my silhouette. Okay. See what it looks like? And that says a PNG. So you know we have to uh we have to trace it. But I might as well go ahead and pull wifey. Get wifey and pull that over too. So we can just kill two birds with one stone. Okay. So there's hubby and wifey. And I'm just putting it into our nine by 11. Okay. I don't know if I want to keep that third row. So with that being said, we can go ahead and trace it. So I'm hitting my, I'm hitting the trace button over here. Select trace area. 
Then I'm going to select this entire thing. Okay. Now, because some of these lines are thin, I want to thicken them up. But So we're just going to go ahead and trace, hit the trace. Okay, we're going to move our PNG out the way. Just get it out of there. We're going to select what was traced, and then I'm going to color it in. So I'm going to the palette, and I'm going to hit black. Okay, those lines are way too thin. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the offset selected shape. Click that. Which you could click it over here too on the right. But I want it to offset that and it disappeared, of course. I had to click it again. I don't know why my silhouette keeps doing that. Wait a minute, y'all. It's like doing it twice. Okay, you know what? I'm moving that out the way. I'm getting rid of all this. That's not what I wanted it to do. Okay, I'm back. Just try that again. Okay, I'm clicking it. I'm going to the offset. Okay. I want it to be maybe 0 0.010. And I'm going to apply and see that, that how much that thickens the line up. Not by too much. It did kind of. Let me move that to the side and then go back here. See, now it's just doing them individually. I want to select this entire thing and then let's look, and look at it. It made the lines thicker. Can you tell? See, whereas here, they're like little skinny lines. These make them thicker. I think I'm good with that. I could make it thicker even more. Uh, let's, let's leave it like that. That's nice and clean. So I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to group the whole thing together. So see in comparison, if you look at the lines, these were thinner. That's so we use .010 to use that line thicker. So let's do the same thing with wifey now. Okay. Stretch her out. Okay, so I'm going to the offset with the star. Give it a chance to think. Okay. And I'm highlighting over here and I'm with point point zero one zero and apply. Even though these lines weren't as thin as the hubbies, but still. Okay, moving this out the way, the PNG we originally brought over, I'm gonna select everything and then go to my color palette and I'm gonna hit black. And you see it's thicker, it's thicker. So we're happy. So go select it all again and right click and hit group so it can all be together. Okay. So here's our hubby and there's our wifey. And just so I don't get confused, I'm going to take these out of here. Boom. So now, which one do we want to cut out first? You know what? I think I'll do wifey. Because then that at least let me know if um the, the lines were thick enough. 
because these do seem thicker than these. But anyway, okay. So now we have to get our foil because I'm going to use a gold foil for this. I have navy blue shirts and I'm going to use the gold foil and we're going to cut this out. 